Hi everyone, this is Gail at Ladyfinger Sewing. Uh, we received a magical shipment of goods from Anthology, and this is Marcia Durse's uh, first batik collection. And those of you who are fans of Marcia Durse, I certainly am. Um, the thing I love about her, all of her fabrics is they're an ingredient to your creativity. It, when you see a quilt made with Marcia Durst fabrics, you don't run up to it and say, ooh, ooh, that's a Marcia Durst quilt. No, it's a your quilt using Marcia Durst's fabrics. I think they're so versatile and so lovely. And the deal about this new collection that just arrived, it's called Here, There. <laughs> and we waited a good two years from this, for this because of COVID. So we're so glad it arrived and I'm going to share with you um, every SKU here on, on the film and you'll see that it is available online and of course in the store. It is absolutely fantastic. These batiks are like nothing else. So let's um, take a look-see and see what Marsha has, has come up with here with her first batik collection. Now this is here, there, and this color is considered ginkgo. Okay, isn't this great? So it's a nice big plaid, and because it's a batik, the plaids are not always super straight, which means, means that you don't have to be either. It just adds a fun, whimsical look to your quilts. And then next, this one is called Twizzler. Here, there, and the color is Twizzler. Isn't that great? Super great, bright red with black. And next, I love this. This one is called Watch, and I believe the color is gold. Super fun to use. This one is called Castle, and this is a wonderful, um, kind of a sagey, almost a eucalyptus t uh, color, kind of a gray, a little bit of hints of green and blue on it. I love this one too. This one is gold with blush, blush on it and gray. And this one is called Peach Pie. I love the names. <laughs> Here's a beautiful uh, lavender, red, uh, uh, red violet. And this one is called Mimosa. Next we have the same chop and this is called Ruby. Just beautiful. I can see these in bags and, and tableware in addition to quilts and even wearables. This one is a beautiful cadet blue and cream and it is called Peacoat. Next. This seems to be a really favorite colorway this year. A lot of turquoise and teals in everyone's projects. And this one is called Briny, and I, I imagine she's thinking of the sea or the beach. Ooh, I really, really, this is like the most different fabric I've seen in a really long time. So this is a very interesting kind of a khaki gray ecru background with, and the streaks are a gorgeous gold color, and this is called Sidewalk. Very special. Ooh, another gorgeous tealy turquoise and the little strips on it are in lavender and this is called tropical and of course you can see why. Next we have a nice flamingo looking um, colorway of this chop and this is called calypso. Okay, here's the next box from the, the latest Marsha Durst collection, for her first collection of batiks by, done by Anthology. And this piece is called Watercolor. I love these egg shapes. Isn't this just in time for Easter? They're, they're pretty round, but they have an egg shape to me. And this is called Watercolor. Super cute. Same chop. And this one is called Lilac. So this is a blue-gray in the background and um, nice variations in the pink to purple on the, on the circle or egg shapes, whatever you want to call them. Okay, another pretty one, ooh. <laughs> now this one is called Icy Sky, isn't that great? So some of the, some of the circles have a, a, a purple color, almost indigo, and then into turquoise, really nice. Next, this one is called Bougainvillea. 
So um, that's a beautiful viney flower that, that uh, grows pretty much everywhere, but usually more down south. And this is a kind of a khaki green background with a beautiful fuchsia colored um, circles on it. Really nice. Okay, this one is the same chop and it is called melon. The background is black or very charcoaly black. And then these are a really pretty melon color for the circles. Couple more to go. We're back to the big grid. And this is called clover. So we have a nice acid green background with really pretty orange and gold yellow, um, kind of a plaid motif on it. And here we have lemon. Remember, this is the Here There collection by Marcia, Dur Marcia Durst. And yes, this is called lemon. So it has the nice stripey uh, diamonds on it in charcoal. Two more. This one is a beautiful melon color. They're calling it bubblegum. Uh, I'm not sure what brand that would be, but it, it's a really beautiful coral color. And then the little rectangles are a nice light tan. So this is called bubblegum. And finally, in this, this box, we have a South, I guess, South Beach. And so this is a turquoise with a light turquoise, uh, just really splendid color. Okay, um, next up we have another beautiful motif from Marsha Durst's Here There collection. And this particular chop is called Pine Nut. It's a really pretty soft yellow gold and the little V's on it are, um, the little nuts, <laughs> are green. Really, really nice. Okay, and this is the same motif in another colorway. And this is called Spicy Mango. Again, Here There by Marsha Durst. Next, this one is the same motif and it is called Sweet Corn. And you can see why it's a really nice um, soft yellow and the little motifs on it are in a gold color. It does look like corn, doesn't it? Now we have another, another chop. That, that chop means design, so when they make batiks, there's actually copper or wooden molds. They're, they're carved out of a stamp, like a stamp. And then um, they, they, they're, the fabric is imprinted with those chops in, in dye stuffs. So this is called Here There, and this color is Dusty Plum. So it's a nice viney motif, really easy to chop up and use. And the same viney motif, and this one is called Inlet. Now this is a really pretty um, light to medium blue, depending on what you put with it. And it's, it's just a beautiful glowy color, really, really nice inlet. Next one, Here There by Marcia Durst. And um, this is just gorgeous. Now this one is called Sea Glass. And it's a really pretty, um, just right shade of green, not too yellow, not too blue. And then flecks of uh, turquoise in the, in the motif there. Really, really pretty, called Sea Glass. And I have a funny little feeling these are going to go real fast. So this one is here, there, and the colorway is lemon lime. So these are little ingots, real little kind of oval shapes. And um, again, it, it's wavy, so you don't have to worry about direction too much, even though this is a directional print, because you can see where the chops join. See how they're offset a little bit? That just adds that much more interest to your projects. Okay, same motif. And this one is called Stonewall. If you want an interesting background, this is your buddy right here. So this one is a soft off-white, and it has pretty light blue little ingots on it. Okay, next one. This is cool. It's called Sunshine. So this is a deep gold, and it has really pretty turquoise little dashes on it. Really, really nice. And here, there, and this one is called pomegranate. One of my favorite fruits. Really, really nice. Really pretty and bright, but not too electric. Just right. 
three more to go. This one is simply called purple. And it's a nice medium purple shade and then the little dots are kind of gray and white, off-white. Another great background fabric. This one is called, I guess, Whitstable. W-H-I-T-S-T-A-B-L and then the rest is chopped off, so we'll have to look at the paperwork. <laughs> anyway, this is another one that makes a great background. And finally, we have here, there, and this one is called Roasted Pink, I think, or Roasted Pea, something, plum maybe. But um, another off-white, almost tan, and then the little, the little dots are um, a dark red and a dark coral color. Really, really nice. So be sure to, to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and then um, be sure to follow us on Facebook, and certainly shop us online at LadyFingerSewing.com and visit us at the store. That's it for now.